celebrating the Chinese Lunar New Year in style, marking the year of the long, also known as the year of the Chinese dragon. And the festival here in Kampala showcased Chinese culture and traditions, while also highlighting the interactions between the people of China and Uganda. Actually, this is the uh, first time uh, by the Chinese community to organize uh, these uh, spring uh, festival uh, celebrations after the uh, COVID uh, broke out. And now we are happy to see the, the, the ending of this uh, COVID-19. So uh, for, last, for the last year, the Chinese community uh, working very hard and their lives are returning to the normal. So we are celebrating uh, this uh, occasion. All kinds of Chinese-made products were on display here. They included heavy machinery, household items, and different cuisines. Some of them, rare traditional dishes of meat to vegetables. What we are making here is the most popular noodle in China. You know, it's called the Luo Sifen. So uh, that's basically where I'm from. Yeah. So uh, I think in the whole Africa, I'm the only one making this. So this noodle has like a, above 10 different ingredients on top. You know, uh, the most special one is uh, sour bamboo. Different performances grace the stage, from music and dance by children and adults, both Chinese and Ugandans. Some Ugandans wore traditional Chinese outfits to blend in. Others like these two, and a Chinese artist, painted together for charity. People look into the east, and when the sun rises, and a lot of the, like, the good things will happen. So that means our future is beautiful. And um, it's called the uh, red in the east. So it means the hope in the east. So I like the day, daylight and the downtime. When you look at the sky, all the beautiful things can inspire you. You have the good feeling toward the future. I always uh, like to collaborate as an artist because art is a universal language. In fact, when we talk about art, then there are no boundaries, no countries, no races. You know, it's just a, a way to communicate and be able to exchange dialogues and conversations. And China has a long history of understanding civilization and documentation. In China, the Spring Festival is also an important family reunion occasion. People spend a substantial part of their time decorating and uplifting their homes and surroundings. It's a Chinese celebration, but it has attracted a lot of Ugandans.